Welcome back to the Colorado Avalanche GM mode here in NHL 16. This is going to be episode 23 of the series, and in last episode we played game one of the opening round of the playoffs against the St. Louis Blues. And like I mentioned that episode, we will be only playing the elimination games. So we have since simmed a few games up until we get to this elimination game, which is game six. So we have simmed games two, three, four, and five. And now we're in today's episode, we'll be playing game six. So first things first, the recap from each of the games. In game two, the first period started off as Brodziak and Duchesne scored for each team. So the first period ended at 1-1. Moving into the second period, it was Upshaw and Bleakley scored for each team. So at the end of two, it was 2-2. And then moving into the third, that's where things got interesting. That's where Scotty Upshaw only scored for the Blues, and it's now a 3-2 game as the Blues take Game 2. Moving on to Game 3, starts off as Ryan Reeves, the enforcer, scores for the Blues to start the scoring. Moving on to the second period, Scotty Upshaw scores, and it's a 2-0 Blues lead. In the third, the Avalanche tried to make a comeback with a Zadorov goal, but it ends up 2-1. Blues in the lead, they lead the series two games to one. But moving into Game 4, and the Avalanche come out firing. Two goals in the first... In, to our correction, no goals in the first period, two goals in the second period. Uh, Landeskog and Grigorenko, so it's 2-0 Colorado. Moving to the third period, and Tarasenko and Petrangelo scored as they tied the game up for, Blue, for the Blues. Moving into overtime, of course, who else? Matt Duchesne scores the game winner in OT, so the series is all tied up at two at the end of that game. And then moving into Game 5, first period starts off with no scoring. Second period, Matt Duchesne scores, makes it 1-0 Avalanche. Moving to the third period, Matt Duchesne scored his second goal of the game, and a Tarasenko score for the Blues, but the Avalanche come out on top 2-1, two, no, two to one, and they have now lead the series three games to two, as if the Blues lose Game 6, they will be facing elimination. As far as some of the top point producers on each team, Matt Duchesne and Landis Gog have been the main guys for the Avalanche. Duchesne has six goals, one assist, and seven, and seven points in five games. And Landis Gog has one goal, four assists, and five points in five games, each point per game player so far in this round. So then, for the Blues, they only have a bunch of guys who have three points. That's Brodziak, Upshaw, Aberg, and Petrangelo. And then Upshaw leads their team in goals with three so far in the playoffs. So here we are in Denver, Colorado, home of our Avalanche, as they play host to the St. Louis Blues here in Game 6 of the first round of the playoffs. Blues are down in the series as they have their backs up against the wall. They're facing elimination, and in between the pipes of the Avalanche is Malcolm Subban. He's 3-2 and two with a 1.77 goals against and a .937 save percentage. In between the pipes for the Blues is Brian Elliott. He's 2-2-1 two, two, and one with a 2.16 and a .919. So we'll start things off. First period early on. Blues in the Avalanche's zone. Some passes around. Intercepted by Duchesne as he's off down the wing. Cutting inside. Tries to go five holes. Saved by Elliott. Later on in the first period, Blues have the puck. Trying to get something going here. Looking for the cross crease, can't get it until he could pass it at the D. Slap shot in front, somehow saved by Subban, covered up, and there's going to be a face-off to his right. So this face-off is won by the Blues, slap shot goes wide, taken behind the net after a little bit of a struggle by the Blues. They pass around, pass over to D, slap shot yet again, rebound, shot, and scored. That's in there for the Blues as they strike first in this one. And it looks like there was their fourth line out there as Ryan Reeves was on the ice. So the Blues up 1-0 as Yaskin scores, assisted by Brodziak and Bomeister. So now, later on in the first period, here come the Avalanche. Nice cross crease attempt there, but nothing going for the Avalanche. But then the Blues try to escape their zone there in the neutral zone. But they dump it in, picked up by the Avalanche. Pass back to Peverly, who finds the Mestikov. He's got himself a rush. He's on a breakaway. Deke move, and he scores! Vladislav Nemeshtikov ties the game up at 1 with 10.05 left in the first period. We're all tied up at 1. Nemeshtikov assisted by Peverly and Gormley. So 9.25 left in the first now. Blues of the puck in the Avalanche's zone. Some D-to-D passes. Slap shot saved by Subban. Passes out, picked up by Cronwell. Takes it behind the net. Passes up the boards to Bork. He skates past all of the defensemen. Passes back. Shot by Peverly. Saved by Elliott. Pass back to D. 
And Yondel turns it over, nothing going. 6.23 left now on the first. Here come the Avalanche. As they're on another rush here, Cross gets the temp shot, saved by Elliott. Can't get it through. Huge save there by Elliott. Still tied up at one. Five minutes left now in the first period. Big hit there as the Blues are rushing. Steen takes a shot. Subban makes a save. Passes out. Zadorov loses it. Picked up right back up by the Blues. Skate around in the slot. Pass back to Petrangelo. Down low into the slot. Slap shot blocked out in front. Ricochets into the corner. Picked up by St. Louis. Pass back to D yet again. Slap shot. Save Subban. Somehow covers that one up. And then at the end of one period, it will be all tied up at one. Here between St. Louis and Colorado here in game six. So now moving on to the second period. The opening faceoff. One back to Johnson. Hedman up to Duchesne. Takes a shot. Poke check, and it goes into his net from the poke check. Matt Duchesne scores yet another goal in this postseason as he has seven goals in six games now for this Avalanche team. Eight points. Duchesne assisted by Hedman and Johnson, so it's a 2-1 Avalanche lead. 17-30 left in the second now. Pass over to Duchesne. Looking for something. Pass back to D. Slap shot, stick breaks, picked up by Landeskog. Little struggle in the corner. Duchesne crossover to, uh, I believe that was Bodker, takes the shot, but it's a save by Elliott. So 15-20 now in the second. Big hit there. Loses the puck as the Avalanche get it back. Pass over to McKinnon. Skates in. He's at the slot. Wrist shot. Snipes right off the far side. 3-1 Avalanche lead. Now Nathan McKinnon with an absolute beauty of a snipe there. Assisted by Victor Hedman, his second assist of the game. It's a 3-1 Avalanche lead. Later on in the second, on the power, on the penalty, on the penalty kill of the Avalanche, shot saved by uh, Elliott. Peverly, cross crease, Nemestikov shot somehow saved by Elliott. No clue how he got to that one. It's so now later on in the second. One timer from the Blues, and then a rebound attempt gets through Subban's five hole. And it's now a 3-2 hockey game. It's a one goal game with 8.07 left in the second. As that one was scored by Scotty Upshaw. Who else but their playoff goals leader? So 6.40 left in the second here. One goal game. Here come the Avalanche. Shot by Peverly. A very uncharacteristic snipe there by Rich Peverly. Rocking the great playoff beard. Makes it a two goal game for the Avalanche. Assisted by Bork and Zadorov. So at the end of two periods, it'll be four Colorado Avalanche, two St. Louis Blues. As the Blues have their backs against the wall here, face an elimination. They're going to have to have a good third period. So here come the Blues in the third period. Pass back to Shattenkirk. He is dump trucked by Eric Johnson. Pass to the Landeskog. He turns it over. And here come the Blues yet again. After a bit of a struggle, they pick it right back up. D to D passes. Shot. Ricochet is wide off of Subban's leg, it appeared. So another attempt here for the Blues. As they get right out in front, shoot it, it goes in between Subban's five hole. Yaskin scores his second goal of the game. It's a one goal game. Yaskin unassisted on that one. As it's now 5.50 left in the third. Four to three later on. As it's a shot saved by Elliott, picked up by the Avalanche. Skates this one in front. McKinnon, shot, snipes. What an absolute beauty. That's two beauty snipes in this game for Nathan McKinnon. And you can pretty much put the dagger in the blues after that one. Assisted by Yandel and Yurko as they have the empty net out. Down by two. Pass up. A little bit of a struggle in the corner. Shot as Susie crosses the blue line. And that's an empty net goal by Vladislav Domestikov. As it's a three-goal lead here for the Avalanche. As that is how the cookie crumbles. Your Colorado Avalanche are winners of the first round of the playoffs against the St. Louis Blues as they will advance in the playoffs and the St. Louis Blues are going golfing. The Colorado Avalanche win this series four games to two in game six as they come out on top in the game six to three. Just a scoring output led by McKinnon and Duchesne. And then I'll wrap things up for this episode. Like I said, Avalanche win the series four games to two over St. Louis as they will now be taking on the Minnesota Wild in the next round who beat the Nashville Predators four games to two in the first round. So, Minnesota and Colorado in the next round. And with that being said, I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. People told me slow my road. I'm screaming out, fuck that. I'm going to do just what I want. Looking ahead, no turning back. If I fall, if I die, no, I live to the fullest. If I fall, if I die, 
No, I lived in missing bullets. I'm a 